Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. If there's anything that you guys want us to react to, drop the name on the link down below. We'll be more than glad to react to it, and that in return is going to actually motivate us to keep up um, with posting each and every day. Hopefully, we can we we can do that. And uh, you can actually find us on Instagram and Facebook as Fanny and Jesse. And just feel free to also suggest things there. Or feel free to say hi. We'll say hi back to you. And another thing is you can check out our vlogging channel, Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Just head there, subscribe, and enjoy the content that we put out there. So today, I'm actually going to be reacting to what is the meaning of the word Messiah or Christ. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. He is the Messiah, translated Christ. Now, this expression Christ, does that make him into a God? The Christians think so. That this word Christ, this, he is the Christ. He, they're thinking that this is some type of a term to describe God in human form. No. What is Christ? Coming from the word Hebrew word, Messiah, Arabic, Messiah, Coming from the root word masaha in Arabic and Hebrew, masaha means to rub, to massage, to anoint. Priests and kings were anointed in consecration to their officers. See, it's like the coronation ceremony or like your graduation ceremony. Priests and kings in the good old days, they used to be anointed with holy oil or with water. So from today, you are our imam, you are our priest. Or from today, you are our ruler, you are our king, sovereign. Priests and kings, this thing was done to them. So we have the word Messiah, means anointed, means appointed. That's what it means, appointed by God. So Jesus was a person appointed, anointed by God. Irrespectful, respectful position. And this is not a unique term in the Bible. In the Quran it is unique. In in the Quran, he is the only one mentioned by that term, that likab, that title, Masih, only Jesus. But in the Bible, this is a very common expression. Messiah, Masih. You read there in the Bible, in this book of mine, Christ in Islam, I don't know whether they are available here, but from South Africa, we give them free. We have printed over 200,000 so far, free distribution. I give you references. So many references from the Bible where this word is used for other beings and things and things. Not only humankind, but inanimate objects. Anointed. The words you find is anointed. Anointed. The priests were anointed. The horns of the anointed. You know, they were those crown like things, old fashioned. They used to have horns on them, you know, to showed that how fierce they were, you see, those rulers. Horns were anointed. Pillars, pillars, you know, column, column, were anointed. Columns were anointed. This is pots and pans. Pots and pans were anointed. What is this? Anointed. Pots and pans. Hebrew. In the Hebrew Bible, the word is Messiah. Pots and pans were Messiah. Pillars were Messiah. We made Messiah of pillars. So you have pillar Messiah. You have pots, pots, you know, pots and pans. You know, the ladies cook with in cooking. You see, sometimes I know common terms, you know, I, I, I get puzzled. You see, because people might not have heard expressions like chalk and cheese. When I went to Canada, I found difficulty. You see, among the English speaking peoples in Britain and in the colonies, chalk and cheese is a common expression. You know, chalk, the white uh, chalks of dough. Mm, I wish this video was actually longer. Um, I will always say this. I mean, you can't blame people for believing what they believe. Because it's been written in the holy book. Um, the best we can do is speak about it. Make people aware that this is what's actually going on. And this shouldn't be like this respect that um i was saying you can't really blame people because they've believed all their life that 
this is expressed like this okay this person is referred to as messiah and god is referred to as messiah so it's one thing means the same thing and let's just go with it otherwise when someone brings to your attention that it shouldn't be like this ask them why learn from that person don't just be ignorant and feel like they're judging you and everything as i was saying i've always said this and i'll always say this i feel like a lot of things were lost in translation from the original to whatever followed after and the things that keep on following following and following because with the new thing it's like one thing is added one thing is removed one thing is added another thing is removed so that also plays a role in everything that happens otherwise um we should have stuck with the original of something so that we don't find ourselves constantly confused we don't find ourselves constantly um feeling like we have to defend what something means otherwise to the people that advise people about things shout out to them or shout out to us you know be open-minded that's the only way someone can actually learn be open-minded um and look into things google what something means but sometimes google just do its own thing but go out there and do your research is what i'm trying to say do your research see what you find compare it against another source and another one or another one if you want you can go to more than five sources and figure out for yourself if uh, you find yourself doubting what something means for yourself draw a conclusion that best suits you it doesn't always have to be just because funny said it's like this and that's the way no sometimes you need to do your own research because many things many important things are being lost in translation causing confusion which we honestly don't want and don't need otherwise that's what i have to say um about this short clip let me know what you guys think about what that said or what i said uh, if there's something that you guys want me to react to drop the link down below and i'll be more than glad to react to it just make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video